This is Marcia Scarborough, International Living Spain correspondent, on a hot July day in 2020 in Puerto del Sol in downtown Madrid. This is the central plaza of the city where the streets fan out like rays of the sun to the different neighborhoods of Madrid. This is part of Madrid de Asturias, the old Madrid that was built by the Habsburgs when the last heir of Ferdinand and Isabella was a woman and she married a Habsburg prince. Uh, the guy on the horse behind me is King Carlos III, who was a Bourbon king, because then they had to borrow from the French, and he was the city planner and he designed the Puerto del Sol. So we're going to take a quick look and then a look at other parts of Madrid de Asturias. The statue of the bear and the madrona tree is the uh, iconic symbol of Madrid. Why? Because when the founders were looking for a place for their capital city, they followed Ursa Major, the Big Dipper, the Big Bear. And the tree uh, has a red berry that is medicinal. And when the king got sick, they made a tea of this berry and he was cured. So those two things together make it Madrid, the Madrona tree and the bear. This building is the main post office. And in front of this building is the marker for Kilometro Zero, which marks how all the distances are measured in Spain. And it is said if you step on that plaque of Kilometro Zero, you will always return to Madrid. Yo Pepe is a type of sherry made in Jerez in Andalusia. This sign was here since the 1920s and it was very popular with the Madrilenos and when uh, the buildings were renovated and it was taken down they lobbied to have it returned and here it sits as a monument to Spanish wine. La Merguina is a, a Spanish bakery that's very popular and well known for all kinds of desserts and sweets. So, when they built the metro in Madrid, and they excavated under these old streets in the old quarter, they found a lot of tunnels, and all of them led back to the royal palace. Hmm. And one of the tunnels came up in this hotel, Posada del Piene. A piene is a comb. And they were rare items in medieval days. And this hotel had them chained to the bedstead so you couldn't take them. But apparently, the king had some interesting business with friends. Now we are approaching the Plaza Mayor, the old center of Madrid, the old main plaza. Originally, it was a market. This is Madrid's very grand Plaza Mayor, originally a marketplace. And this building with the beautiful frescoes on the outside was the Baker's Guild, very powerful guild for fixing the price of bread. But then later, the Plaza Mayor became a boring. Today, these are all apartment buildings, but uh, originally they were uh, a wooden structure that was burned down and then replaced with this stone structure later. In the center, we have another king on a horse. This time it's Felipe III. These are very exclusive apartments now. It's said that Pedro Almodovar owns two of them. But the dark side of the Plaza of Mayor was during the Spanish Inquisition, where it became the place of executions. Here people were garroted, Although burnings at the stake took place out of town because of the air pollution. You can sit outside and have drinks or dinner in Plaza Mayor. It's usually much busier than this and into the night. 